Hi, I'm Frank Coleman, and this is a brand new Macintosh, and I'm going to show you what I do, first thing I do, with any brand new Macintosh to make it much, much more user-friendly than it otherwise would be straight out of the box. Uh, this is my hard drive over here. I'm going to double-click on it to open it up. And you see we have this display of four lovely folders of different things and a bunch of symbols at the top here. I uh, don't really know what those symbols mean. Let's see, perhaps this is uh, part of this new Internet of Things here, and the first one is to control your microwave, the second one is to control the ventilation in your house, the third one is to control your windows and blinds, and I'm guessing the fourth one is for the home theater. Uh, this one here keeps track of your stock in your pantry, how many jars of peanut butter you have, and this one uh, starts your tractor. Uh, okay, so obviously this is open to interpretation and confusion. So the first thing I do is I go to the Customize Toolbar thing, and I select this little drop-down menu here, and I change it from Icon Only to Icon and Text, and voila, I have labels underneath these things, so I don't have to think. Please don't make me think, Mr. Computer. That's why I spent all this money on you, so you could think for me. The other thing is that there's a whole bunch of other very useful icons that actually you'll find yourself using lots every day. And I don't know, frankly, why Apple didn't make them part of the default setup, but there you go. So you'll find yourself doing things like making new folders a lot. And I'm going to just drag this up here, and it's going to show up in the toolbar here and after for every window that I open up. You're also going to be doing a lot of, like, deleting files, too, and deleting folders. You'll be getting info on files and folders. If you have a CD or DVD burner, you'll be burning disks and ejecting disks. But the most useful one by far is this one called Path, and I'm going to drag that over. Oh, I'll put it right here. Okay, let's let that go. Now, when I make a new window, new finder window, voila, look at that. All these useful icons are right there. I can click on something and get info on it. I can just make a new folder instead of hunting around for what's the key command for that folder. If I decide I don't like that folder, I can just delete it and it goes away, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the path thing, if I drill into the public folder here and go to the, my Dropbox, uh, my public documents, it's for this project, perhaps. Wait a minute, no, that's not it. Well, now, how do I get back to where I was? Well, I could click on this right arrow and click and click and click. Or, if I'm down in here, Back in this deep down in the depths of this folder, I can click on this path button and it shows me the path of how I got down here. And if I click any of these things, it'll take me right there, like right to the Dropbox folder. Right? Makes navigation so much easier. Amazing. Well, there you go.